this is by far the most boring season of Dog with the Block. I really enjoyed the first two seasons. The acting wasn't the best at times. They definitely rehashed a lot of stories with Avery all the fucking time. With her doing something absolutely awful. And then the dog telling her, Oh, well, you shouldn't do that. And her going, Oh, I didn't think of it like that. And they still did that again this season. They continued the thing they started like late in season two. Of the dog saying something like, Oh, I'm... I did this, and that's why I talk. And then they're like, what the fuck? And he's like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm a regular talking dog. I've never really cared for that joke. I don't know why they kept doing it. Um, Only one former Disney actor appeared, and that was um, Kim from Kicking It plays a girl named Wacky Jackie. Which isn't very creative because Casey Undercover also had a character named Wacky Jackie. And they're both owned by Disney. And they're only a few years apart. So I don't know how they would have forgot it that fast. I think I forgot to criticize it last season. But like they went to school here and there in the first season. So they were clearly going to school. But in the second season Stan misses them when they go to school. Very weird. Like, it's never happened before. Like, it's a new thing. They also say Tyler's 18 in an episode. And then in that same episode, they say he's almost an adult. Very weird. Um. His mom drives him to the BMX thing. Even though he has his driver's license and he's had it since the very first season. So... That's kind of weird. I mean, I get that not until you're 18, I think, or maybe it's not till you get your license. I don't know. I never got my license. I passed the class with a B, but I could just never get past the actual driving part. But anyways, um... She drives him to the BMX thing because that's his new thing now. Now that he's not working in the cart, restaurant, whatever. Um, But you'd think he would be the one driving since he can drive. And maybe she would just be in the passenger seat. If that's um, why she's there. Avery and the mom have like a bonding episode about some random painting they apparently like. It was very random. Chloe's apparently not cute anymore, even though they've been portraying her as cute for the, like, whole season. But they have an episode where she calls her mom, mom, instead of mommy. So apparently she's not cute anymore. It's, it's kind of weird. They give Stan puppies. And they're just there to be adorable which doesn't work most of the time but they're fine characters they're not annoying or anything um carl and max date which they kind of hinted at in season two so i wasn't too surprised about that didn't feel forced um avery max and um the one girl um lindsay Think, find out they're all dating the same guy, so they all fuck with him and make him eat spicy food because he doesn't like spicy food. Because he somehow didn't know that they were all dating, even though they're like best friends. I think they would have mentioned at least one time Avery, you know, saying something like, Oh, yeah, I hung out with Lindsay yesterday. And he'd be like, Lindsay, what's her last name? And then getting freaked out or something. But no, he was dating three people that are all friends. And the three people never mentioned one of them. I did like the episode, but that is very funny to think about. Best friends never sent stuff to each other. That totally makes sense. Talked about each other, I mean. Um, Overall, it was very boring in my opinion. Um... 
I stopped at episode 7 for quite a while. And I started watching it again. Um, it was fine. It wasn't bad, but just was nowhere near as good as the first two seasons. <laughs>